was his goal. You see what I'm saying? Is this all a coincidence? I think not. Okay, and it's and it's gonna get worse. Okay, right, real quick though, I want to bring this scripture out because it's all about unity, right? It's all about that group unity. You know, um, you know, uniting people. You see what I'm saying? That's their doctrine and agenda. Again, it seems good on the surface. Okay, it seems real good on the surface. But let's see what the world calls Christ. Who the world calls Christ? Real name Yahweh Shai. Let's see what he had to say about this. Let's go to Luke 11 and 23. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. Okay, so if you're not gathering with Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai in the true doctrine, you are scattering. No matter how many Israelites you hump together and tell your Israel, you're scattering them if you ain't giving them the truth of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, starting with the name, starting with Nathaniel, and also a uh, comfy. They ain't pushing the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So they scattering, man. Okay? So all that unity, it all sounds good, but you scattering the Lord's flock if you ain't teaching the truth. Point blank, period. That's out of that's out of Yahweh Shai mouth. I'm gonna read it one more time. Shalom, shalom, all praise, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach, peace and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, shalom to the elect. All right, I want to go into this lesson now about um, the head of the Sakari camp, Israelite camp, Alazar, and I'm going to go into, this, that was an old video from what, uh, 10 years ago. And it's funny how the thing that he says is exactly what he's doing as uh, in in these last few years, and you, know, you could go back uh, quite some time. He's been doing this in terms of unity camps and things of that nature. And uh, the reason that even sparked this lesson to be made was because I see that he's been going off again, saying that Paul's letters are not um, authoritative. And, and now, who the fuck made you authoritative? You know, over Paul, a man that the Lord ordained. You see, and uh, the head of the church, Peter himself, acknowledged Paul. All right. Peter didn't acknowledge you, but he definitely acknowledged Paul. All right. And, you know, it's it's sad to see because it, it, you watch this video, you would think, yeah, he was in the right spirit. You know, everything he's saying, for the most part, from what I've seen, was on point. But look at how he contradicts himself now. He said, yeah, all that unity shit. But here you are doing unity camps. All right. These two other camps don't even don't even believe in the same doctrine. And you just said that it's all about the doctrine, right? See how easy it was. All I had to do was research Sakara unity camp. Here you are with these two other groups. You're scattering. Your own mouth condemns you. Because you just said that if you ain't teaching the right doctrine, if you, if you're, if you ain't in the right spirit, then... Hey, man, this is the scary thing about the Lord, man. This is the scary thing about the Lord. He can have you saying these things and then it falls upon your head. That's why we always got to remain humble, man. All right. But the pride got the best of this guy. So I want to read this real quick. First of all, we'll get back to Second Peter. But I want to read. Um, yeah, this is the book of. Job 15 and 6, thine own mouth condemneth thee and not I, yet, yea, thine own lips testify against thee. You see? So, applying this to what he's saying, your own mouth condemns you, okay? Because you said that, well, the doctrine is so important, in it, but here it is, you, you go, you teach with men that don't even teach the same doctrine. So, how can we ever take you serious? That's why when you say, well, Paul's letters ain't authoritative, you ain't in the position to speak on that because you already compromised, my man. All right, 2 Peter 3 and 15. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's read 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. You see? So, so being diligent is not only about doing something continuously. It's about carefully doing it doing it in the right way you could be dil a diligent fool all right you could you could be diligent at being a, a a nigga you could be diligent at being a false prophet okay so when you're doing something it's about the way that you do it and the consistency of you doing it 
That's what it is to be diligent. So when it comes to diligence and this truth, we have to have the doctrine on point. So, yeah, you go out. Yeah, you teach. But you're scattering the Lord's flock because you're not teaching them the right way. And you're lining up with men that don't teach the right way. So what does that do? So confusion. The Lord's people, the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans are like lost sheep. And they're very easily misled. So the, the Lord is not dealing with wishy-washy. You know, you could it could be this way, it could be that way. Well, you know, the doctrine could switch up, and we're gonna teach a unity camp. You just said that it was off, man. So just 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 exposing out there for you, sincere brothers and sisters out there, so you can see that this guy is full of shit, man. All right, he's been full of shit. All right, and I believe at that point there was maybe a time where he was sincere, but hey man, over the years, what happened? He became corrupted. Okay. And in, that, in, another, in, un, in another lesson that he was doing around that same time, there's a video of him at the Rosicrucian headquarters teaching, which, you know, t take that as you may. All right. I don't see why any brother would be at the Rosicrucian headquarters teaching. All right. It's very, it's very strange to say the least. But let's read on. Second Peter 3 and 15. An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also according to the wisdom given unto him hath written unto you who gave paul the wisdom who opened his eyes who's the one that dealt with paul yahweh shy himself so you're you're still rebelling against the lord man which that's perfectly fulfilling your lot of being a sakari because that's what they did they weren't with yahweh shy man back then they want to do their own thing okay and that's why they had that miserable end that they had Okay, and, 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 and y'all keep it up. You're going to have the same miserable end. Okay? You've been warned many times, man, and things are about to really heat up, and I see what the Lord is doing. He's about to call out, you know, through his mouthpiece from the apostles of Great Millstone on down to the bishops, the brothers, the, the elders, the brothers, the babes, and Yahweh Shai like myself, that you, you all are going to get called out before this great and dreadful day comes. All right? And you won't have no excuse to say, well, I wasn't told. No, you were told, you were warned many times, and you just did not want to listen. You were hard, hard headed, stiff necked. All right? But the but Peter himself acknowledged Paul, but Paul is not authoritative. All right, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things. See, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are that are unlearned and unstable rest. So you got a lot of information up there, but you don't have the 100% truth. That's the problem. Okay? So you're you're unstable, and what do you do? You rest. Let's get the word rest real quick. Yeah, let's get that word for rest. Yeah, okay. Right here. It says, rest, Stri striblo -o. all right, to twist, turn awry, to torture, put to the rack, to pervert of one who rests or tortures language in a false sense. See, Paul's letters are not authoritative. Because, for, and what is your reasoning? What's your scripture to prove it? Because you feel like it? <laughs> you can't take these guys seriously, man. All right. One day he woke up and said, Paul is not authoritative. So everybody got to drop what they're doing and follow you. Get the fuck out of here, man. All right. Let's read it in the NLT. It says, speaking of these things in all of his letters, but Paul's letters are not authoritative. But Peter mentioned them. And this the Lord put this scripture specifically because of wicked niggas like you. All right. That's going to seek to pervert it. You're, you're, you're perverting things, man. That's why you're getting called out and exposed, man, constantly. Some of his comments are hard to understand, and those who are ignorant and unstable have twisted his letters to mean something quite different, just as they do with the other parts of Scripture. So if that means that, that means that what? That Apostle Paul's letters are a part of the Scriptures. His writings are a part of the Scriptures. And this will des result in what? In their destruction. OK. So you're, you're being wicked, man. All right. You're going off. 
it's graph graphe okay graphe it says a writing thing written the scripture used to denote either the book itself or its contents a certain portion or section of the holy scripture okay a certain portion or section of the holy scripture so there it is man <laughs> so apostle paul's letters according to the head apostle peter so i would love to ask is, is peter authoritative because according to you he wouldn't be based off these two verses. He wouldn't be authoritative because he said Paul is good. Paul is a part of the scriptures. So he's not authoritative now. See, you can't follow these type of men. And this is why we have to warn the flock. Yeah, it's exhausting at times. You just get fed up and frustrated with, you know, these individuals, man. All right. These, these wicked, false, perverse individuals, man. But at the end of the day, we got to speak on it. First Corinthians 1 and 10. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, that ye all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. What's the word there? Is it katartizo? Let's see. Perfectly. Yeah. Katartizo, right? Let's see. Strong's G, 2675, Katartizo. Okay, yep, Katartizo, which is from the Greek, which means to render fit, sound, complete, to mend what has been broken or rent, to repair, to complete. See, you're not complete. You don't have the whole doctrine. To fit out, equip, put in order. You're out of order. Arrange, adjust, to fit or frame for oneself, prepare ethically, to strengthen, perfect, <coughs> excuse me, perfect, Complete, make one what he ought to be. And that's what this truth, this true doctrine is supposed to be. You're supposed to be fit together perfectly. All of us are supposed to be teaching the same thing. And you yourself acknowledge that. And then you flipped on it. So how can we ever take you serious, man? You know, they got that saying from, from uh, I think it was from Scarface, you know. All I got in this world is my, is my, is my word and my balls. My balls and my word. All right. Matter of fact, hold on. <laughs> yeah, so this is it. I'm not going to click it because they might try to clip me because I know this is a, you know, one of the movies. I don't want the lesson to get taken down. But yeah, Scarface said that all I have in this world are my balls and my word. All right. And, and, and you lost out. OK, you lost out. And another part of the lesson, he mentioned that, oh, it is these Israelite camp to get in their skirt lifted. You're getting your skirt lifted now. Remember, this is the fearful part. And let's go to let's go to the, and what we just read was from Paul's letters, right? So of course, and and where where see the thing about it is he just said that. Forgive me, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'm very excited because you know we passionate about this truth. But he mentioned that it's all about the doctrine, and we just read Apostle Paul mentioning that it's all about the doctrine. So how is Paul's letters not authoritative according to what you used to teach? You know when did you pick that up? When did you start believing that? See, it doesn't make any sense, but, you know, according to the Holy Scriptures, when you were in your right mind, you were in agreement with Paul. But now look what happened. See how the Lord took it from him, but he left him with certain parts. That's the scary part about you. How about Shemiah was shy, man? All right. There's a lot of false prophets, man. All right, let's read this. Philippians 3 and 16, nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. So we're in the same mindset. Walk by the same rule, mind the same thing. You you seem to understand that 10 years ago. What happened? You know, we'll tell you what happened. The Lord took it from you. Okay, but the scary part is he left you with certain things. So he's, he's still using you, but I mean, if you don't repent, you're going to be what? Destroyed because you ain't teaching the right thing. All right. You're teaching rebellion against your Hawabah Shem Yahweh Shai at the end of the day because you're speaking against his men. And Apostle Paul is a very heavy man in the spirit. OK. Brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as you have us for an example. Right. And, and it makes sense because he, you know, he's rebelling against the leadership of the ancient times and he's rebelling against the leadership of now. OK. 
So so he's just fulfilling his lot to the T, man. All right, but you know, that's pretty much it. Points been made. <coughs> no need to beat a dead horse. Points been made. Oh, you know what? I did want to get Hebrews. I did want to get Hebrews real quick. What is that? Hebrews 10 and 31. All right. Just just summing it up. All right. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You see? But hey, check this out. Look at how look at how look at how man, look at how the spirit works. But call to remembrance the former days in which after ye were illuminated, right? Which means what? Receive this truth, receive receive this light, ye endured a great fight of afflictions. You see? So so remember those former days where you were actually in the spirit. All right, and maybe the Lord will have mercy on you. All right, where well, we all need mercy. But I know for one, you know, teaching the right, teaching the, the, the right doctrine is going to get you in the good graces of the Lord. All right. And if you teach in the wrong thing, that's going to piss the Lord off. OK. And and you have disrespected the Lord. You was shy. You've done so many things, man. You, 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 let's not forget they had a, a, a Passover in a club. All right. It wasn't a strip club, but it just had a bunch of naked bitches in it. Right. <laughs> You <laughs> see how these guys, um, what do they do? We just read it. They twist language. They pervert language to to try to, um, you know, justify themselves and the wickedness they do. All right. But this is, the, you know, that was the lesson. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And may Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Mechach continue to bless and increase his elect out there that they can receive um, this lesson. Lord's will was edifying. And also... Um, you know, don't follow false prophets like this guy, man. All right, because the end of them is going to be destruction. Call Halal Yimla Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rechak Wadash. Shalom to the next one.